Hello all, I'm Sai and in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and also some book recommendations to follow and buy during the Prime Day sale which is happening in India on the 15th and 16th of July 2023. I'm publishing this video 2 to 3 days before the sale because I'm going to give you 5 tips that you can follow based on which you can purchase a lot of books and also save a lot of money at the same time. First, I'll talk about the 5 tips that I have and then I'll give you some book recommendations. I'm going to recommend you nearly a hundred books from different genres and you need to go forward and check them out and if they are available at lower prices you need to purchase them because most of them are really really amazing so without any further ado let's go forward and see the tips first so of these five tips the first one and the last one are the most important if you ask me that's why i'm bookending this tips section with these two tips and of these the first one is the most important okay if you want to save your money and not pay more money for the same amount of books during the prime day sale compared to normal days you need to follow this tip okay i'm emphasizing this very hardly because many people don't do this they just go forward and buy the book just by seeing the prices so the first tip is to add all the books that you want to your cart and save them for later two to three days before the sale goes live i'm publishing this video two to three days before the sale goes live right so after finishing this video, just go forward and add all the books or products that you want to your cart and then save them for later. I'm saying this in specific as the first tip because when you add all these things to your cart and save them for later and check them out like 4 to 5 hours or the next day after you have added them to the cart, you'll be seeing this small message on top of the cart screen. I'll try to add a screen recording of that over here or here somewhere. You can just go forward and check it out. There will be the small message which pops up at the top of the page. And when you open that message, you'll be able to see the change in price of all the products that you have added in your cart or saved them for later. I'm saying this in specific because what usually happens is Amazon has this habit of decreasing the price from the MRP of the books and just displaying them as discounts like it's a big deal. But most of the time what happens is books have really good discounts on Amazon and people who go forward and purchase them during the Prime Day sale alone take this bait and pay a lot more money for buying the same books which they could have bought at a lower price on normal days. So in order to know that you're not spending much more money, you have to add these things to your cart and save them for later and keep on checking them at least once or twice a day so that you can see the change in price. If the price of the product during the Prime Day sale is lower than the price at which you see them in the cart, it is a huge benefit for you. Just go forward and purchase them. Otherwise, I suggest you to not buy the product during the Prime Day sale because this thing keeps on happening and you'll end up paying a lot more money. You can just wait for a couple of weeks and the price of the product will come down to the normal price in which it is usually available on Amazon and you can go forward and purchase it. So even if you don't follow any of the other tips or the book recommendations that I'm going to give in this video, trust me, go forward and do this. I'm sure that you'll be able to see a lot of changes in the price and you'll also be able to save so much from that. My tip number two is to go forward and look out for lightning deals, okay? Lightning deals are a very specific kind of deals that are available during sale times and the specific thing about lightning deals is that they'll not be available for a long amount of time and they'll also be updated for a few couple of hours throughout the two days during which the sale happens. Now when you're adding a product from lightning deals to your cart, the only problem is that you'll have to check out that product and buy it within 15 minutes itself because once you add the product to the cart, there will be a 15 minute timer which will start on counting down. So once it reaches zero, what will happen is the discount that was applied for that particular lightning deal will disappear and you'll just see the product at the normal price without the lightning deal. So make use of lightning deals because usually what happens is the products that are available within the lightning deal section are not that much in stock and they'll be claimed by the customers continuously. You can even see how much of the product is available for you during the time of your purchase. And once you add it to your cart, it is like pre-booking the product for you so that within that 10 minutes it will not go out of stock for you. It is a great idea to save a lot of money but the only catch is that you will have to purchase the product within 10 minutes from when you add it to the cart. I have done it a lot of times and I've saved a lot of money from this particular tip alone and I've saved a lot of money. So just go forward and try it and this works even during the normal purchase times on Amazon and not just during the Prime Day sale. The next one is also another kind of deal and it is called the Today Deals, okay? You should just go forward and search for Today's Deals on Amazon's page and just go forward and browse through all the products that are available. Usually what happens is there are a bulk amount of products that are available for one single day alone at a lower price and this is much more comfortable compared to lightning deals because the products that are available in today's deal section will usually last for 12 to 24 hours and you can buy them during any time within that span. It's not like lightning deals you have to add it to the cart and purchase it within 15 minutes. I have not seen many discounts in today's deals as much as I've seen in lightning deals but it is also a great way to go forward and save a lot of money while you are purchasing a lot of stuff and especially for these two days during the prime day sale there will be a lot 
lot of today's deals that will be available. Some deals will be available for the whole two days span also, but some of them will be available just for a single day. So if you feel like the price of the product has dropped down to the extent to which you think, I'd suggest you to go forward and purchase it already because the next day it might go up in price again. So do look out for today's deals because it's also a great way to save money. Tip number four is to look out for box sets and book bundles, okay? This is specific for book lovers and bibliophiles like me alone, okay? All the time I've seen this happening during the Prime Day sale, books will be available as bundles or box sets. Box sets are normally series or companion books or books by the same author that are put into a box and sold as such by the publisher. And in book bundles, Amazon itself curates books within a specific series or books by a certain author together and sell them for a lower price compared to buying them individually. There is one catch that you have to keep in mind while you're going to go forward and purchase box sets or book bundles also, you have to see the individual prices of the books and buy the book bundle or box set only if the price is lesser than the sum of the individual books put together. This is a very normal thing to say, okay? I'm sure that everyone will keep this in mind, but sometimes what happens is when you see two or three books together at a lower price, it'll feel like you're getting a good deal. But usually what happens is all the three books individually bought will cost a lot less for you compared to this book bundle or box set. So do keep that in mind. And usually what happens is when you are purchasing book bundles itself, you can see the prices of the individual books if you scroll down in the page itself. Since you're going to buy these books in bulk, their prices would be usually lower compared to the individual books. So the fourth tip is to go forward and look for box sets and book bundles. The last tip that I want to tell you guys is something that you have to do out of Amazon, okay? And before telling this tip itself, I want to tell you guys one thing. I'm not affiliated with any brands for this video because I've been purchasing from Amazon during the Prime Day sale over the past three to four years. And I have done a few mistakes and also done a lot of quirky things which have helped me save a lot of money while buying some very expensive books. That's the reason why I'm sharing all these tips with you guys. I'm telling this in specific before the last tip because you have to go forward and follow an Instagram account called Broke Bibliophile, okay? I've been following this account for the past three years and each and every deal that they put up in that page stories during the Prime Day sale or during any other time of the year is just excellent. Just because I followed the single page on Instagram, I have saved a ton of money while buying a lot of books on Amazon in specific. I think they also have a Twitter group but I'm not sure about it because I don't use Twitter. I'll link their Instagram down in the description. Do go forward and check them out. Of course they get some commission because of the affiliate links through which you'll purchase the products but that is not our concern right. We just want great deals on books. Trust me I have gotten great deals just by following this page and I'm sure that they will keep on sharing a lot of great deals throughout the year. It's not just for physical books but also Kindle books. So my last yet very important tip is to go forward and follow Brook Bibliophile on Instagram. So now I'm going to give you some book recommendations. I have nearly 100 books to recommend to you guys for this video. Hence it is going to be a bit long for this section alone and that's why I'm not going to show you all the books individually as physical copies because if I take them out from my shelves, it'd be a huge mess for me. I'll just pop up the covers either here or here so that you can go forward and add the books to your cart if you're interested. And I'm not sure whether I'll be able to provide affiliate links for all of them in the description but I'll try to. You can see here I have a huge list of books which I have to recommend to you guys for this video so it's going to take a bit of time. I have individual books, box sets, book bundles, specific author recommendations and so many other such things. So let's straight away dive into them. The first one is the Sherlock Holmes books, okay? The particular edition that I'm suggesting is from Fingerprint Classics. All of the books inside the series are available from Fingerprint Classics and the best thing about that particular edition is that the price of the books is not more than 150 rupees per book even during the normal days. So during Prime Day sale it might come down even more. I have the entire series with me from this particular edition and they are all paperbacks which are floppy so it will be very easy to read. Next is the Hidden Hindu Trilogy by Akshat Gupta. I've read only the first book. I read it very recently and it was really good. I'm going to continue on with the series. And I've seen that the prices of these books is also under 200 rupees always in the normal days itself. So this might also come down in price. Star Daughter by Shweta Takrar, which is also another book which I read very recently and it was really amazing. I bought it for 130 rupees during a normal sale itself. So this might also come down in price. Next we have The Courage to be Disliked, which is a great non-fiction book. I bought this during the last year's Prime Day sale for just a bit more than 200 rupees in hardcover it usually costs around 350 rupees and it's a great book next we have the 5 am club in specific and any other robin sharma book i'm saying this one in specific because i've seen the price of this one coming down to less than 200 or 150 rupees each and every time over the past three years and this is definitely one book which has changed my life next i want to suggest a very popular author who's colleen hoover you can buy a lot of colleen hoover books for a very cheap price during this time i remember i bought one book by her november 9 for just 90 rupees last year it usually costs around 350 to 200 rupees. The next one is Amish Tripathi books. There are around 7 books from 2 series by her, 4 from the Ramchandra series and 3 from the Shiva trilogy. 
The Ramchandra series is actually available as a box set of four books now, so look out for that. And for the Shiva trilogy, you can go forward and look for book bundles because it usually comes like that. Next, we have Sadhguru's books which are very spiritual in their tone and they are not preachy. That's why I like them. I bought two of his books during the last year's sale and I have read one of the two. Gaul Gopal Das's books are also really good when it comes to the spiritual section of books. I read his first book last year and I'm planning to purchase the second book during the sale. Let's wait and see. Next, I want to recommend some box sets. Okay, I'll just read out the names of the box sets and most of these I have with me. The first one is the Game of Thrones box set. You can see that one here, right? I bought it for just 1600 rupees in 2018. It's been 5 years and the price of that one has not come down for less than 1600 rupees ever since then. Next, we have the Truly Devious Box Set by Maureen Johnson, which is a great YA mystery series. I'm a huge fan of the series and I've just not read the last book which just released last year. Next, we have one of the greatest fantasy series ever, which is the Lord of the Rings Box Set. I have this over here and it just cost me 850 rupees for 4 books along with The Hobbit. Specifically, look out for this edition because it is also floppy paperback and it is very sturdy in its tone. Next, we have the Never Night Chronicles by Jay Kristoff, which is also one of my all-time favorite series. I bought this during the Prime Day sale in 2020 for 950 rupees or something, but I'm sure that it will be available for a lower price right now. Next is the Sisterhood Classics box set by various different classic authors. I bought this just a few months before this year, but I think it will be available for under 500 rupees itself during the Prime Day sale, so do look out for it. Next is the Lara Jean box set by Jenny Han, which is also a great contemporary series. It has really good adaptations on Netflix also. I have not watched the adaptation set, but the series as a whole is really rich in its tone. Next is one of my all-time favorite series, which is the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Usually, the price of the series is around 1500 to 1700 rupees as a box set for just 3 books, but I've seen the price of this one coming down to less than 1000 rupees many times during the Prime Day sale, so you have to look out for this. So moving away from the box sets, I want to recommend you guys some individual books as well as some book bundles. Of which the first one is an individual book and it is Factful List by Hans Rosling. It is a great non-fiction book and personally I think everyone needs to read this book because it'll make you understand how great and positive the world in which we live right now is. Usually the hardcover of this one is lower in price so I'd suggest you to go forward and buy the hardcover compared to the paperback for this specific book. Then comes the Heartstopper book bundle by Alice Osman. Okay, this is a collection of 4 graphic novels, volume 1 to volume 4 of Heartstopper and I think the price of this one will come down in price because the second season of the show is coming on Netflix in August so more copies of this particular graphic novel might sell out during this time so do look out for it. Then I have the Alice Osman box set which is a collection of four of her novels which have been published so far. The four novels are Radio Silence, Solitaire, I Was Born For This and Loveless. Next is a thriller bundle which is that of Gillian Flynn's books. Okay, There are three Gillian Flynn novels which have been published so far. The first one is Sharp Objects, then we have Dark Places and Gone Girl. Next we have two authors of whom the first one is Paulo Coelho. A lot of Polo Polo books are available at just 150 to 200 rupees in price normally itself, so they might come down during the Prime Day sale since he's a very popular author. Next are Dale Carnegie's books, which are all non fiction, and all of them are really, really great. I've read three of his non fiction books so far, and all three of them have helped me so much. Other series that you need to look out for are The Song of Raids and Ruins by Rosanne A. Brown. I read both the books just a couple of months back, and I bought the second book for just 92 rupees. It's a book which is more than 500 pages in size, but I just got it for 92 rupees during a non normal sale itself, so it will probably come down in price again. Next is the Ray Barrer Duology by Todd and Ifburko. This is also one series which I have not read yet, but I have the second book which also I bought for just 90 rupees. Next is one of my all time favorites which are the Six of Crows Duology and King of Scars Duology by Lee Bardugo. The prices of both of these duologies are usually high, 300 to 500 rupees all the time, but during this time you can buy each and every one of the books at around 300 to 200 rupees usually, so do look out for them since both of the series are really well written. Next, I want to recommend to you guys two different categories or types of books, of which the first one is Man Booker Prize winners, that is Booker Prize winners or International Booker Prize winners for any particular year. The price of these books usually come down at a very huge scale during the Prime Day time. I have bought a few of them during the Prime Day sales from the past few years and some books which I'll recommend to you guys are The White Tiger by Aravind Adiga. Life of Pi by Jan Merton, The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida by Snehan Karnatilaka, and Tomb of Sand by Geetanjali Shri. Next, I want you guys to go forward and look for bestseller romance book in specific. Some examples for this one are P.S. I Love You and Postscript by Cecilia Aghorn, Me Before You, After You and Still Me by Jojo Mewis, The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, and many other such popular romance books which are continuously recommended on Booktube as well as Bookstagram. 
So those are all the book recommendations that I had for you guys in order to go forward and try to purchase during the Prime Day sale because their prices might come down. Now you might think that I'm just talking about all these books and you might not even be sure whether the prices of them will be coming down or not. So just in order to convince you guys that it might happen, I have some examples of the books that I've bought during the Prime Day sale over the past 4-5 to five years. I just want to share some of them with you guys. I'll try to pop up the covers here or I'll just show them here within the frame if they are available. I do have all of these but I cannot pick up the physical copies right now. Just as I said before because it will just create a huge mess for me. If you want to check out the qualities of those books, you can go forward and check my book hauls and unboxings playlist. All these books will be available in the videos there. So the first of these is the Game of Thrones box set which consists of 7 books and I bought it for just 1600 rupees in 2018 during the Prime Day sale. It has 7 books, you can just see 2 inside the frame, there are 5 which are outside the frame. Next I want to talk about the Lord of the Rings box set which has 4 books including The Hobbit, you can see it right here. I got this for just 850 rupees during the Prime Day sale in 2021. Each of those books easily costs around 250 to 300 rupees, and I got all four of them for just 850 rupees during that sale. The next one is the Never Night box set by J. Kristoff, which is a collection of three books. I got it for 950 rupees during the Prime Day sale in 2020. Next is Now Bar 9 by Colleen Hoover, which I got for just 90 rupees. It is on a shelf right there opposite me. The next one is The Secret History by Donna Tart, which has become one of my all time favorite books. Usually, the price of this book is from 450 rupees to 500 rupees on throughout the year. But during a particular day alone during the Prime Day sale last year, I got it for just 130 rupees. Okay, I cannot even believe that I'm saying it at such a low price because it is an amazing book. Next, I bought two of Sadhguru's books last year, of which the first one is Adi Yogi, which I got for 110 rupees, and next is Karma, which I got for 130 rupees again. Both of these books cost 250 to 300 rupees each. Off the top of my mind, I was able to remember only some of these books but there are a lot on my shelf which I have bought during the same time over the years and it has benefited me a lot. So I hope that these recommendations as well as tips were very helpful for you and you end up saving a lot of money and also buying a lot of books during this Prime Day sale. If you did find this video useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends and if you want to get more content from me especially your bookish stuff don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you guys again in another video. Until then thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.